And this is your host, Gravinder. I'm going to continue our weekly topic here, definitely on the housing market and in Canada, what we're hearing from RBC in terms of the market bottom, and I'm sure you're curious about it from a buyer and seller perspective. I'm going to talk about interest rates, obviously, from Bank of Canada, what they're saying. The next interest rate decision is October 26. You definitely want to stick around for what most likely will happen on the, that day in terms of announcement. And finally, I'm going to talk about some numbers here in terms of what we saw for September sales in Toronto and Vancouver market. You won't be surprised, but obviously, what is the takeaway from this? Uh, and just before I begin, guys, uh, this is not financial advice. I am a wealth management advisor. I spend a lot of time, research, and effort and energy on this. So I always say if you're looking for advice, work with someone you trust and someone you can work with. Without further ado, let's kick it off here. So this is from RBC on October 6. Housing market bottom is still some ways away, and this is from RBC. And this is direct from Robert Hogue, their assistant chief economist at RBC Economics. He says, we think the bottom is still some ways away. Buyers are in exceptionally tight squeeze, facing the worst affordability conditions ever in large parts of the country. They're clearly on the defensive at the stage. The Bank of Canada has hiked its key lending rate by three percentage points since March and is widely expected to deliver additional three quarter point increase by the end of this year. So that's 75 basis points, ultimately lifting its overnight rate to 4%, maybe even above that. But let's see. And the negative impact of higher interest rates on prices is still running its course, depressing the value of higher priced single detached homes first and foremost. As you know, or may know, single detached homes prices went up the most, so there's one they're going to correct you know, first and obviously to a larger percentage and amount. And guys, my opinion here is we definitely have the housing market some ways away. Uh, you know, until interest rates do not stabilize, until inflation does not stabilize, you know, housing market is, is going to be treacherous to say the least. But again, you're going to make a decision that's right for you. What this means for Bank of Canada is Bank of Canada is continuing in this path, which is increasing interest rates. And you can see here the title of this article from Bloomberg, October 6, Bank of Canada leans into hawkish path, dashing homes for a pivot. So just quickly, some quick words here. This is from, you know, Bank of Canada Governor Tim McElham said he remains firmly on the interest rate hiking path. Quashing hopes for immediate end to a tightening cycle that's choked in debited households and threatening the economy with a reception, uh, recession. McElham, in a speech and press conference on Thursday, played down a recent slowing of headline inflation, saying underlying price pressures are elevated and risk becoming entrenched without further rate increases. Simply put, there's more to be done, McElham told the Halifax Chamber of Commerce. Inflation will not fade away by itself. As I've been sharing with you guys, to obviously can get a control of inflation you need to raise interest rates thereby having people spend less and right now i think the bank of canada the federal reserve and the u.s don't even care if a recession happens it's probably a good thing because it will probably help with inflation my opinion interest rates are definitely going to increase the next decision here is on october 26 and i'm actually thinking it's going to be 75 basis points that they're going to increase and that's going to you know obviously put more pressure on households budgets and obviously the housing market as a whole and actually the stock market, because you are, if you've been following the stock market, it's not been doing well either as most assets in 2022. Now, so far in September, these are the results of what's happened with housing. So this is from Yahoo Finance from October the 5th. Toronto Housing sees the fewest new listings for September since 2002. Housing activity in the greater Toronto area took yet another hit in September as buyers continue to sit on the sidelines. Sales for the month plunged 44% compared to the same time last year with 5,000 properties changing hands. And this is according to the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board said on Wednesday. All types of properties in both the city and the suburbs register sales declining, ranging from 35% to 53%. And, you know, also very importantly, it's, the market is getting very tight because less buyers, obviously less sellers as well. Fewer homeowners decided to put their properties on sale because they're not getting the price that they expected at the start of 2022. New listings were down 16.7% in September, year over year to 11,000, the lowest number of new listings since the month, uh, since 2002. Sellers definitely need to be realistic about home prices at this moment. They are stuck on getting prices for the first quarter of 2022, and obviously they've been disappointed. You can't afford those prices with where interest rates are today. It just won't work from a budget and you know cash flow perspective. And the exact same thing, guys, are happening in Vancouver. As you see, this is from the Canadian Press on October the 1st, October the 4th. Vancouver home sales down 46% from last September, 10% from August. Uh, the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver says September home sales dropped 46% last 
uh, since last year and 10% from August as interest rates continue to you know, cool buyer sentiment. The BC board says sales in the region totaled 1,600, down from 3,100. Uh, the September before and 1800 in August. Last month's sales were almost 36% below the 10 year September sales average. And guys, usually September is a hot month for sales because obviously, you know, people are coming back from summer vacation. They're looking for, you know, make that next move. And obviously, interest rates have really put a dash on, on those plans. And that's the video for today, guys. All the articles will be in the description below, along with uh, my you know, handle for Instagram and Twitter. If you ever have any questions for me, feel free to reach out. The three things I definitely want you to take away from this video is the housing market in Canada seems like it still is a waste. Uh, you know, we don't know when that timing is exactly going to be. You're going to make a decision that's right for you, but it's definitely going to be a little bit longer here. Uh, and obviously, very big but important, Bank of Canada is going to continue to raise interest rates. And obviously, when they stop, maybe make a pivot or take a break, we'll see what happens in the market at that time, and I'll continue to bring that information to you. And the third thing from a buyer and seller perspective, guys, there's less buyers on the market, but again, there's less inventory on the market as well. So that's going to make a difference in terms of what you potentially want to buy on the resale market. So I hope you appreciate me coming at you. Any guys, likes, comments, questions, you know, subscriptions, always, you know, continue to keep me motivated and keep you going. So I appreciate it. I hope you stay well and stay safe. Thank you for watching.